Oh snap, Blaze is going live. Hey, good day, good day, good day, good day, good day, folks. Hey, thank you for joining me. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for joining me. Just in case you're joining me for the very first time, I am your host, the one they call Brian Glaze Gibbs, and this is my ministry. What I do is right now is hood gospel. I talk about the good. I talk about the bad. I talk about the ugly. My objective is share my life experience that hopefully that will reach one kid life and stop them in a track and get them to understand that there's no shortcut in life. Only thing come fast is trouble. Easy to get into hard to get out man even right now getting caught up into the gang only gang you should belong to is the gang of your mother and your father you know what they are the number one and number two people in your gang your brother your sister your grandparent man no gang you don't need no gang man you need love you need direction you need guidance man you know what this message today is for the mayor of new york mayor eric adams mayor eric adam right now you got a difficult task on your hand the task that you got on your hand is how do you stop the violence and the big red polluter apple? How do you get gun control? How do you help with this gang situation? Um, these unnecessary shoot and killing in your city. How do you get Brooklyn, the Bronx, Manhattan, Queens, Staten Island? How do you take back your city? How do you take back Gotham City, man? Listen. My name is Brian Glaze Gibbs. Google me. Reach out to me. My email is Brian, B-R-I-A-N, Gibbs, G-I-B-B-S, 1201 at yahoo.com, man. Let's, right now, come up with solution to those problems, man. The best way you're going to fight that crime, the best way you're going to fight all the negative and nonsense that's going out in the street, sometimes right now you have to get down and dirty, man. Sometimes what you have to do is dig deep. Sometimes you have to form a committee. You know what? My suggestion is this, man. Put me on that committee, okay? Based upon my life experience or whatever, I have seen a little bit of everything, man. You being a former cop, a captain at that, you've seen so much. But right now, it's your way of thinking. My way of thinking is totally different. But not only that, not just put me on that panel. Right now, put the doctor, Guy Fisher, okay? Everybody know Guy Fisher. Right now, when he went away, once on Apollo, once did all his stuff, was on a, you know, I'm talking about right now, one of the biggest player, one of the biggest drug dealer back to him. But look at what happened. Went away, got his life together, changed, became a doctor in the penitentiary, man. Put him on the panel. Besides him, you got William Underwood, also formerly known, what? The leader of the vigilante. Take these individuals, my man, OG Shabay, gangster. Right now, he can tell you a thing or two about that street life, about that gang culture from the Tomahawk days, the Tomahawk days, the Jolly Sumper days. These are individuals that you can go deep and get involved with. You know what? Right now is form that committee, man. How you put one head is good, but two head is better than one head. Three head is better than two head. Four head is better than three head. Five head is better than four head. Okay? Six head is better than five head. Get with your bait. Get with, you know what I'm saying, Lou Hobbs. Another guy that just came home, man, from years. You got different personality. Me, right now, at one point in time, people thought I was a psychopath, man. Like I said, I was a hell of a problem. But once again, I had to get healing. I had to get, you know what I'm saying, like mental health healing. Heal, heal, get that that healing that I needed, man. Get that help that I need, that I didn't thought I need. Like you said right now, once again, you got the Dr. Guy Fisher. You know what? He offers so much, man. He can bring so much to the table. You got William Underwood, man. Reach out to us. Besides that, you got OG Shabay. Right now, all of us have came from two, three, four different ways of life, man. But guess what? I feel if you bring us all to the table, man, Lou Harp. You know what I'm saying? Gentle Lou. Right now, smooth guy. You bring all of us to the, to the table together and discuss, come up with a solution that we can probably come up with a solution to that problem, man. You know, you also got Ken Du just about to come home. You know, when Lorenzo Fat Cat Nixon's come home, get these guys. Don't judge people because of their past, man. Judge them because they experience what they learn. Right now, 
Here it is, when we was young, we was dumb, we was out there, we was in love with the street, we was in love with that fast money, we was, did whatever it take to maintain control. Now, we all basically what, senior citizen. Okay, wanna right our wrong. So being that we wanna right our wrong, imagine you put together a dream team. You see what they did? What happened in Olympic? The Olympic, the United States got tired of these countries beating the living daylight them, out of them on a game that was invented in the USA. So what they did was they got tired of these guys from different countries beating us up. So what they did, they stopped using the college kid and they adapted the dream team. They went and got who? Michael Jordan, Magic Johnson, Larry Bird, Patrick Ewan, Carl Malone, um, you know what I'm saying? Art King. They went and got all these guys, man. They got all these guys, man, from, and they formulate the dream team. And look what happened. They crushed. They demolished. They took the bite, you know what I'm saying, and got the, got, got the championship back, got the Olympic gold back. So right now, it all depends upon how far you want to go with it, man. You might have to get down and dirty because people are going to ask, oh, man, why are you, you dealing with those guys? Those guys is ex-drug dealers. These guys are ex-killers. These guys is this. These guys is that. But guess what? Who know? Who know? Who know the problem better than people that was out there that once was a part of that? That was once part of the problem and all of us seeking to redeem ourselves. So right now is you, Eric Adam. You can do something that's going to be unorthodox. But people are going to love it. Wait a minute. Hold up. This is different. But imagine. What, what do you have to lose? What do you have to lose? You don't have nothing to lose but everything to gain. You want your city back. You want to stop the gun violence. You want to stop the, the, the crime. You want to stop the murder. You want to stop all that. And guess what? Here it is. Putting us all together going to stop? No. But it can help. It can help. It can take us all in a whole totally different direction. And guess what? Here it is with our experience. With our, our, our background. With the way we think. Guess what? We can come up with a solution that some of the folks that you got on your staff can't come up with. Because we've been there. Been there. Done that. So once again, like I told you right now, put together your dream team, man. Put together your team that's going to help get your street back. Going to help be able to talk to these kids. Be able to get them to see, you know what, learn from our mistake. That's what this is all about. So right now, Wiz, once again, Eric Adam, the mayor, right now, is I salute you. Everything that you're doing right now, I love that plant-based diet you're on. Because once again, here it is right now. It's all about how do we save our life, man. Right now, even when you talk about what you did, you started that plant-based diet. What happened? Your diabetes went away, man. That was powerful, man. So once again, like I say, folks, listen, man, hit that like button, subscribe, share. And Eric Adam, the mayor, I'm asking your honor, get us. Right now, my email address is Brian, B-R-I-A-N, Gibbs, G-I-B-B-S, 1201 at yahoo.com. Right now, is I want to help. I want to save as many lives as possible. I want to right my wrong. And I'm pretty sure... Dr. Guy Fisher would be way more and to get on board. And I'm pretty sure William Underwood would definitely lend a helping hand. I know OG Shabay would definitely lend a helping hand. I know Lou Hobbs, guess what, would definitely lend a helping hand. I know probably Ken Do would definitely lend a helping hand. I know Fat Cat Nichols would definitely lend a helping hand. Because once again, we was all the problem. Now what we want to do is we want to be part of the solution. Peace, love, and prosperity. One love. Have you checked your tire pressure today? I don't have a flat. Have you checked your blood pressure today? No, I don't feel sick.
just got my copy of Beyond Lucky by Brian Glaze Gibbs. Thank you so much for sending me my personalized autographed copy. I've had the pleasure of knowing you for a long time, so I'm really excited to get to know some of your stories and what made you you and how this redemption came about. I know you're a changed man, and I'm looking forward to seeing the whole process of how it happened. Thank you.